Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Ravi's Focus High. We all had a great Christmas. And I'm sure you all are preparing for an awesome party on 31st night. With word of caution, maintain social distances. With New Year on the brink, another page in everyone's life is going to open. Today I'm going to share a story from my past which is going to give us an insight of how growth mindset can be critical for your success. This is from the time when I first started my job. I was hired for a specific company. I mean, you can look at my profile on LinkedIn, you'll know which company I'm talking about, but I was hired. Uh, and how I was hired is a different story altogether. But then this, this event or this incident is very important for me. And I have always, always kept it close to my heart because it gave me an immense learning. And today I'm sharing it with you. So what had happened is hired for a call center, got a job, went in for the first day. We all were put in for uh, different badges, sent for trainings. Uh, the next day, uh, first day we went in, in the training and then we met our trainer, a nice guy. Uh, I still really remember him and it was some great time that we had spent together. And we were sitting in the classroom and the voice and accent trainer came in. She came with a recorder and she said, you all have to speak on some topic and I'm not going to judge you. It's just to understand where you are and how much I have to put effort to help you guys. And we all were very comfortable at that moment. And then we each one of us went in and spoke about a certain topic. And so I did. However, I was shocked to know that once that whole uh, even happened, I was shocked to know that my trainer came back, the lead trainer came back and told me that uh, I and a couple of others were selected to be let go. And I was really shocked knowing that I had cleared the interviews, I had done really well, people were liking me. Out, out of blue, when I get to hear this from the lead trainer that probably you will be let go of, just hold on for another hour or so and they are discussing. I was really shocked and I was like, why? Then I got to know that whatever recording she did, she played that, elevated our spoken English, and then she gave us or gave the results that certain individuals are fit to be in that team or not. And unfortunately, I was not fit to be part of that team. I'm still thankful to my trainer, Sumit, who fought for us. We, we three were selected to be let go, but he fought for us. I don't know, he must have seen some spark in us. He fought for us and uh, he got us 15 days. I was, I was not very happy because I felt cheated. When the voice and accent trainer came in and she said, we are not gonna evaluate you on whatever you're gonna say. I was like really casual after that. And I just spoke my mind. However, she used that and she evaluated us and then she gave a verdict that certain individuals are not good enough. I felt cheated at that point in time. Though I knew, uh, though I knew this was the first job and I was, I was not great at spoken English, though I had cleared the interviews and group discussions and all of those uh, different rounds that I went through, but somehow I knew that my spoken English is not at par. And I realized that and I wanted to work on it. I told myself that I will take this as a challenge and I'll prove it to that woman that I am not as bad as she thinks. And I am suitable for the team and I'm gonna be the rock star in near future. I, I then worked really hard. First thing that I did was I started speaking consciously. I started speaking, I was not casual in my approach. They wanted me to roll my R's, I was rolling my R's and I was speaking just the way they wanted me to speak. And time passed. 15 days went by, 15 days just flew and the day of final mock call happened. I was super confident. I saw people who were like doing really good, totally sweaty. But me, I was totally chilled. I went and the phone rang, I picked the phone, I answered it brilliantly. 
and I knew I was selected and I knew I I had cleared it, but I wanted to hear it from her. So I was just, after after the mock call, I, I got up and I started looking for her and I saw she was walking towards the stairs. I immediately ran towards her. Uh, respectfully, I stopped her. Excuse me, ma'am. How did I do? This is what I asked her. And she looked at me. She said, I have never seen someone change so fast and improve so quickly. You've done amazing. You've not done 100%, but your effort shows up. And that's why I'm giving a green signal. I thanked her and I came back. And today when I look back at the story and I and I then try and correlate it with goal mindset and growth mindset, I think I was having a growth mindset at that time because I knew in myself that I was not good enough. But I did not stop at that. I did not say that, okay, this is not my cup of tea. Forget about it. Let, let me go and search for something else. I took it as a challenge and I made sure that I learned, I practiced, and I, I was super conscious about how I spoke and I cleared that exam. And because of that, I went on to have a very fruitful career with that company and then moved on to different and different. And today I am where I am, but I'm very thankful to that event, which gave me an understanding that when we are not good enough, we are not good enough for that point in time. If we can work hard, if we can work on the skills, if we can improve our, uh, ourselves, if we can improve ourselves, if we can work on the skills that are needed to do the job, we can win any race. With that, I would suggest having a goal mindset is amazing. Goals give us a purpose to live. Goals give us a purpose to do things, but don't get fixated. Have a growth mindset. If you're not able to achieve it, try and understand why you were not able to achieve. Always remember, achieving goal is an iterative process, especially when it is a personal goal. It is an iterative process. You may or may not be able to achieve it in one go. So if you are not able to achieve it, take learnings from that, see what you have missed, work on it, and then try again. And I'm sure you will be able to achieve the goal. And when once you've achieved the goal, what you should do is bump it up a little so that you continue to improve and you don't stay at one point. And that is all about the S model of learning curve. We can talk about that in the second video, uh, upcoming video. But today I'm just going to focus on the growth mindset. Growth mindset is going to take you places. Growth mindset clearly defines talent can be developed. It is not something that you're born with. So our request in the upcoming new year, we all take this pledge and ensure that we have a growth mindset and we don't give up. We continue to work. We continue to hone our skills. We continue to sharpen our skills and we will be the rock stars that we want to be. With that, thank you so much. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share the videos. Thank you so much and a very happy new year. Bye-bye.